Have I just been gaslighting myself into thinking that I like writing? And I actually don't. She can't finish the book unconscious. Alyssa. I am not done with the book yet. Hello, welcome to the video. I'm Alyssa, I write books. And I'm gonna finish my book. Really, I am. Okay, if I see a little edited sentence right here of like, ah, ha, ha, she didn't finish it, I will rage. I am at the dark night of the soul of my adult thriller going by the alias gas station. It's Tuesday and I would like to be done with this this week, this vlog. So it has to be before Saturday so I can edit it. I don't know if that's really gonna happen, but I, I really do think I'm at a point now where I could power through to the end because it is, I'm through act two, part two, which if you saw my last video, you know all about how horrible that was. The ending will go quicker. The scenes are shorter. There's more action. I feel like I personally had a sort of a breakthrough with pace yesterday. I, I've been going on this pace where I was just like 500 words a sprint, which is not bad, but it wasn't making the movement I needed it to because, because it was slower and there was logistics to think about. And there was a lot of, th there was a lot of reasons why the pace was slower. And I also just wasn't doing as many sprints in a row. Um, so I'd get like a thousand words a session, which is fine. But now I'm at a pace of like eight or 900, even a thousand per sprint. And so then I, I'm just getting through it quicker. And I say this as if it's been more than two different sessions that this has happened. It's only been happening recently, but yeah, I have a lot of scenes coming up that are under 2000. So I know I can really push through those for sure. Um, and also I love this part of the book so much. So I kind of like don't even want to go fast because like I want to savor it, but don't be confused. I do have eight chapters left, but I think I can do it. So I need to do like roughly two and a half chapters a day to get through it. Today is kind of like a rainy, blistery day. I had a live stream this morning and that was great. I got probably 1500 words written total that session, which was good. Let's do it. Let's finish this book once and for all. Actually, no, it's only draft two and I'll be doing like five more drafts after that, but let's finish it. I promise we're gonna start writing in one second. I just needed to share <laughs> sort of the serendipitous little God moment, if you will. I was having a moment in the car earlier today. I was driving down the road, going to a location. I was not just driving aimlessly. That's not important. And I just had this thought. I was like, do I even like writing? And, I, and my immediate thought was, yeah, idiot, you do like writing. But then I was like, do I? Like, what do I actually like about writing? Everything is hard. The scenes are hard. I was thinking back to specific parts of the process and it's like, every part of the process is hard. Sorry. And like, there's so much rejection and you're just putting yourself out there to, for people to say no to you and for people to hate you. Every piece of it is just torn apart a hundred times and like, by the time that I actually like the words on the page, I've been in the story so long that I can't even enjoy Like, I was like, do I even like writing? That was existential. I was like, have I just been gaslighting myself into thinking that I like writing? And I actually don't. But then I was on YouTube. I was just, I was, I, I was looking at nothing. I just went like typed in youtube.com and just to see, just to see what was popping. I saw this thumbnail that was like two people reuniting after a drowning and I was like, I'll watch it. I have no idea what this show is. I have no idea the context. I'll watch it. It's a show like in a different language. It's not English, but it was this gorgeous scene of this girl. She's at a party. She gets pushed into the water and the guy like jumps into the pool and like takes her out of the pool they have this beautiful moment. And I was like, and it wasn't even in English. And I just remembered, oh yeah, that's what I like about writing is this way that you can express everything. Like here I am with no words explaining how words are good. A moment like that, sometimes it happens in real life, but not often. And it's not even about the specific moment, but it's like, Writing allows you to, t to express things in the way that you actually want to because sometimes like life moves so quickly and so it's often hard to like actually say what you want to say in the right way or do what you or like present yourself in the way that you want to. 
there's just so little control about how people perceive you. And with writing, you can express things more true, truthfully, I think, than you can in real life because you can go back and think like, is this really what I wanted to say? And I can change it and make it what I actually wanted to say. And not only that, like these kind of reunions, I think the reason I love them so much is not just, it's not just that I like people getting kidnapped. I do enjoy that in a book, but I think it's the metaphor of like, that kind of a crime and that kind of a reunion is so black and white. Often, most of the time, unless you're reading a dark romance, you, you're in danger and then you're not and then you're safe and that safety is with that person. And that's so like black and white and clear in a way that real life often isn't, but you can also make it complicated. Like there's just so much more that you can do and I, I often forget or I, I think I just lose sight that that's what writing is, not those specific examples but just like this way that we can create this reality that is often more true than real life is that is that correct am i saying that in a way that is correct also just a way to process reality and create these people who maybe you want to be or maybe you don't want to be try things out you know without having to make the mistake of actually living it i don't know i actually don't think any of that made any sense <laughs> It was just a good reminder and I am actually so excited about this portion of the book because this portion of the book, if I, at the end of this chapter, I think it feels like this random scene of this Dutch TV show I happened to find on YouTube. I'm going to watch this scene eight more times then I'm going to write. Um, it's eight o'clock because I just wrote for an hour straight an hour in a row 60 minutes Let me let me clarify because I did not write two 25 minute sprints. I wrote for an hour without Stopping I'm fully in the dark night of the soul. I Don't even know how many words I wrote or I have no idea. I have no idea. I Have no idea. I just know that I finished the chapter it was so good, you guys. It was so good. Like, the way that two hours ago, I was trying to remember why I even liked writing in the first place. And I knew that this would happen at this point in the book because this is my favorite part. It's my favorite part. Which is so funny because if you knew what was happening on the page right now, you'd be like, oh, this is a year psychopath. But I'm on chapter 27 now and I just want this to be an encouragement to you. Like I'm through the hard chapters. If you watched my last video about hard scenes, I don't know how helpful that video was truly, but these were the scenes I was waiting to get to and now I'm in them. And they are better because of the hard scenes. Like I needed those hard ones to get to this point. Yeah. So I just want this to be an encouragement to you that if you've been in a hard season and maybe are considering like, is this worth it? It is. <laughs> that's all it is and you're, you're doing this because there's a part of you that loves it even if you don't know where that part is I'm gonna go to bed unfortunately I kind of I'm tempted to just stay up I'm so excited but I want to be excited about it so I'm gonna leave it for the morning I do have a live stream at six I'm gonna check that and make sure I actually do I now have like four chapters in a row that are less than 2,000 words in their original iteration, which is so much more manageable. The last five chapters have been over 3,000 words in their original iteration. And so I am just so beyond happy. For another metaphor I just am always in awe because because life just int intimidates no that's from the office I'm so sorry imitates or reflects so if you remember my computer has been having some problems with battery I haven't talked about this a lot but it 
pretty much like the battery just like it needed to be plugged in. Like it would turn on without being plugged in, but it just wouldn't hold a charge very well. And then there was the problem where I couldn't plug the, the um, computer in without it being off. Like it had to be off to turn the computer on or not on to plug the computer in for to, to like notice that there was a charger there. And I think it was a battery issue because I was leaving it plugged in a lot, just like overnight, which is not good for the battery of the computer. Are you seeing the metaphor? So I was really worried and I'm still a little worried actually that I'm gonna have to get a new computer or a new computer battery or, cause and then my computer was just like acting up in a lot of different ways. So I figured out how I could get it to turn, how I could get it to work, which was really like finicky. I had to like turn the computer off, then plug in the charger, then turn it on, wait for it to load, like give it exactly what it needed, even though it was dumb and it shouldn't have needed that. But now that I've been doing that for like a week, I think I like healed the battery. This is what I'm gonna think, okay? You don't need to come and tell me that I'm wrong. You can if you want. And now it takes a charge. It holds a charge actually really well because I've, I've been like charging it to the full and then unplugging it and letting it wear its battery out and then plugging it in again. Turning it off, plugging it in again, letting it charge all the way. And now it can, like the plug-in is working again. It's holding a charge. It, I just need to give it what it needed to heal the battery. So if you need to do that with yourself, I'm full of metaphors today, which is good because I'm about to write. It's just a 540. Um, I might even I might even try to write before this print start. Who would I be? Who am I? I know, this is very cyclical for me. This happens pretty much every time I get into Act Three. Honestly, I'm a book, which is fine. Wish it would happen all the time, but here we are. So let's get sprinting with my besties on the live. It is time to write. I'm about to join in and watch um, Cody's live stream, which starts in like 10 minutes here. Or so I'm gonna do this. I'm hoping to get through. I just went through my beautiful board uh, that has, essentially it's just a list of all the chapters in the book. And I keep updating when I think I'm gonna do them. And I just updated and I think I gave myself a realistic time. So two little chapters, both of them are under 2000 words. Um, and I'm gonna get through those today. So whether that's during this sprint or these sprints or tonight, then tomorrow I have a kind of a busier day. So I'm just putting one chapter in for me to do. And then Friday I have two chapters to do, actually three, but it's fine. And then Saturday, finishing it up. I feel more capable of actually doing that though this time. I feel like I've made that goal a lot. But this part of the book, I can just sit down and do it. So, so do we have to do some numbers? There's technically 30 chapters in this book and I'm on chapter, I'm on chapter 23. So I have seven chapters. I'm gonna get through two of them today, two tomorrow, two on Friday, and then two on Saturday. But I think that's actually more I'm gonna finish it, okay? That's moral of the story is I'm finishing it. I feel it coming, I feel the end of this book coming and I wanna be done with it. Actually, I don't, I don't even know, this is the thing, I haven't thought much beyond this draft, honestly. I just keep thinking, well, and for July camp, I'll just revise the book, but I don't know if that's really the smartest move. Like, I can't figure out how much of a break I wanna do or if I wanna just jump into a revision plan right away or if I wanna write a new book, like you guys. And then I'm like, what am I writing after this? 
Like, obviously, there's still probably four drafts of this book left. But, like, I gotta start a new book. Do you guys? I don't know. I don't know. Melissa, this is for you. The reason that it's Cal, are you listening? The reason that it's something like that, that is why. Do you hear me? That's why. draft two. I don't care. I do care a little bit and this will come back to haunt me. I need to get a curtain for this window because it's so aggressive and then like it's like too too much light on my screen and then it's hard to write when the sun is so bright um, which is a problem. That's why I've been writing out that chair up in my um, living room but I'm gonna take a break but I'm almost done with this chapter and then that was all I needed to do for today but I'm thinking if I take a break now and I come back to finish this later then I'll also be able to get a start on tomorrow's chapter too but it's going well I'm getting closer I might be ahead which <laughs> wouldn't that just be a miracle of miracles R.I.P. to me. R.I.P. This is so sad and perfect and beautiful. And the Spotify knew exactly what kind of song I needed to hear. Cruel. Cruel. Hi. Um, I don't think this is right. There's no way this is right. You guys, I've written 7,000 words today. lap swim now I'm gonna bike there I'm gonna bike to the lap swim and then bike back it's called brick training triathlon journey here we are and then I don't okay here's the thing about it I don't have a live sprint tomorrow morning I'm for sure gonna try to get through two more chapters though when I get back I don't know I'm feeling bold and ambitious I just wrote for another hour I what is happening this is called act three this is called when you finally get to act three and you can actually write the part of the book that you want to write. Um, but this act three, I think I've always been a little hesitant to write scenes that I like. Okay, that sounds weird. But I think my worry has always been like, I don't want to do something too cliche or too tropey or too, like I don't want to write these scenes that everybody writes because it's basic, you know? Um, no, that was incorrect. Because, Writing tropes 
doesn't mean that the tropes are done poorly and like tropes are tropes for a reason and certain types of scenes do well for a reason and like this book is not as tropey as I originally thought it was and a lot of these scenes like yeah they might be in a lot of fan fiction but people love fan fiction and I think like the plot is coming together so nicely it's really feeling like it's coming together which is an exciting place to be so I'll see when I get back from the pool. I might be totally exhausted when I get back from the pool. Actually, I probably will be. So I, this might be the last time I see you, but I'm hoping not. <laughs> so this is about to be a really humbling shot. Are you ready? I really maybe could have picked a better ensemble. <laughs> this is called gray on gray on gray. It's what the trendy Gen Zers are wearing, which I am fully Gen Z actually. I'm like right in the middle. I used to think I was a cusp millennial, but I'm actually not. I'm 23, so I'm not a cusp millennial. Every time I say how old I am, everyone's like, what? I don't know. I feel like I live the life of a 28 year old. Sometimes, I don't know. I don't know, I just am who I am. Okay, anyway, so I just biked to the pool and then did the laps at the pool and then biked back. I wanna see how far away that was actually. It's not as long of a bike as I typically do. Yeah, it's like 0.9 miles. That's almost a mile, right? So it was one mile there, one mile back, two miles. Typically I try to go for like four or five miles. I'm working up to, I believe 12 miles. Anyway, um, <laughs> so it's, 8.30, which is typically when I go to bed. I know, I'm 100, but I haven't, I'm like hungry. Uh, I haven't eaten a lot. I mean, I guess I've eaten a lot of snacks, but I, and I guess two other meals. <laughs> um, but I just need some oatmeal. Um, and I don't wanna go to bed, like I, like I wanna eat this and then not go to bed right after. I don't know. The reason I'm saying this is just because, um, I'm probably going to write a little bit more, but I don't have any goals about it. I'm just gonna kind of write until I wanna stop. Cause I've already written five, like 6,000 words today, which is beautiful and stunning. But you guys, I don't know. But these scenes, like this chapter is only 1200 words, which is low. Um, and it's all the things I love. And honestly, let me look at the next chapter quick. Just take a peek. The next chapter is also 1200 words. Oh, shut up. And I also love that chapter. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, shut up. Everyone, this is a good book. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. But then honestly, the next four chapters, so I might, I'm just gonna write as long as I want to. I might get tired. I do feel the exhaustion starting to hit me. it's a little humid outside my hair is expanding by the second but I don't mind it I don't know the thing about doing triathlon training sorry I'm gonna talk about it I think the, the hair washing situation my rule right now is I, wa I wash my hair after I swim but then like I'm biking and running other times but I don't want to wash my hair every day You know when people are like, make those jokes about like waking up and writing smut at six in the morning? I feel like this is a similar energy. I'm not writing smut, but I'm writing like horrible manipulation and gaslighting and pain, like liter literal physical torture. I'm like, shut up, like take a breath, eat a pancake, like calm down.
Hi, it's me, Alyssa. I'm not driving. I'm sorry I'm doing such a bad job of vlogging, which actually is typically means I'm doing a good job of writing. So, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna head to a bookstore to write. I, I did three sprints in my live stream instead of two, so I got through everything but the last chapter. I'm on the last chapter of this book, which is weird to say out loud. Um, but actually, okay, there is an epilogue after it. So technically it's like two more chapters to write. The last chapter though is 5,000 words and does cover a lot of ground. Like truthfully in its final iteration, this will probably be three chapters. So it's a significant amount of words. Yeah. And I just wanted to kind of spice things up and go somewhere else to write for a little bit. And this bookstore that I'm going to, way back when, when I was outlining this book, this was where I, I had this day where I went to like three different locations and outlined, but it was the brainstorm part of the outline, which is my favorite part, which is where you just kind of discovery draft an out like, synopsis, like a, wrote out a story, like in like a synopsis sort of way. So it's not it was probably like three pages or something of just like, here's my general idea, here's where it could go. And I do that a few different times. So each coffee shop that I went to, I just wrote a different plot out. And then I kind of take from those to create my actual outline. I'll, sh I'll link that video. I think I'm wearing the same jacket, but I went to this coffee shop or it's a bookstore, sorry. I went to this bookstore during that. So I thought it would be kind of, I don't know, momentous, serendipitous to go there on the day I finished the book, because I am finishing this book today. Um, I don't know if I'll finish the whole, actually, I might. I think once I get into this chapter, I'm not gonna be able to really put it down, is my hope. I don't know why I'm not done with this book yet. I mean, I do, it's that I haven't. It's the same day, it's the same day. It's the same day. Um, what did I get through at the cup bookstore? No idea. 800 words maybe, I, I am where I am. I still have like 3000 words of this chapter left and that's annoying because it's not that many words. Like that's for the whole book. That's well, okay, 4,000. There's 4,000 words left for the whole book. That is not that much, but it's also a ridiculous amount. Like I'm close enough to the end where I just want to be done. And I know that it would be dumb to like, I'm like already in celebration mode in my head. I bought a puzzle. That was like, oh, I'm already, so I've already been planning my revision. I've been watching revision content, but I am not done with the book yet. Okay, that was really aggressive and I'm sorry. What I was, and then, I, oh, and then I, ugh, I was going to go to a live stream that was happening so that I could just write and then I just like didn't do it. And then I was mowing my lawn and my lawn mowers I had to turn it off because my music stopped playing and I had to figure out what was going on. And then my lawnmower didn't start again, so only half my lawn is mowed. I think I'm just annoyed, be annoyed because I was sitting down to write. I've been trying all for like three hours to try and sit down and write, and I just haven't done it. And that's always the most frustrating and annoying to me.
have ended four chapters with somebody becoming unconscious, which is not ideal, but we'll work on that. Did, wait, did I just finish the book? <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. She can't finish the book unconscious. Alyssa, fine, I'll write the epilogue. Is that what you wanted? Chapter 39, that's how many chapters this bad boy is. Lord. I think it's Danny's POV. Why is this chapter still a thousand words long? Oh no, it is, it is Cal. Good work, Alyssa. No, it is Danny, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I misread that sentence. This is the first chapter I wrote, if you remember correctly. Oh, this is so sweet. finish the book here's the, it never feels like I actually did though because especially in the last couple chapters there's a lot of notes about add this fix this do this blah you know more so than the rest of the book and there's more typos but I'm not gonna think about that right now it ended up being 39 chapters which means today I've written seven chapters I don't know, but I'm gonna go get a cookie, so I'll take you with me for that. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's the next morning, which explains why my hair looks like it does, but that's okay. I have written 30,000 words in the last five days. And those are new words. So if we want to count how many of the old words I like got through, it's probably something closer to 50,000 words because I usually cut around 500 to 1,000 words from the original draft, which I was wondering this morning, I was like, why do I feel like, why is my house so messy? Like, why do I feel like I'm just behind on a couple things? Like I haven't done laundry in a while and like I haven't, oh, because you wrote 30,000 words this week. And that's not, I've done that before with dictating. Like I think during NaNoWriMo when I was dictating, are you kidding? I'm so sorry, you're gonna have to deal with it. I think I should be able to like charge the city for therapy or something. Anyway, they're like three blocks away. I cannot imagine the people who live right there. No, in NaNoWriMo I would have similar word counts to that, but I would be dictating where I could get 3000 words in a 25 minute session with dictation. This is, my hands are so tired. <laughs> and the problem with it is I now, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, it's so loud. The problem is now I need to figure out like what I'm doing next. And I already have, I already have a lot of thoughts that I will share with you in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for being here. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below a construction vehicle because clearly they want to participate in my vlogging life. So um, thank you also to Cody, the writer, and Jay Juniper, who I joined their sprints to get some work done. Oh, and Brielle, that was this week too. Anybody who's doing live sprints, anybody who's creating writing content, thank you for inspiring me to write apparently 30,000 words this week. And thank you to everybody who has been coming to the live streams or watching the replays or just interacting with me at all. I really appreciate it. So I will see you very soon. I'm gonna go read a lot of books.